Hey guys, it's me, Eric Newman. You know, a huge part of being a technologist is being able to look at everything that's going on and make choices. In particular, one of the things that comes up over and over again is having to choose the right technology. What's the right piece of hardware? What's the right piece of software? What's the right programming language? What's the right tech to accomplish your goal? And I'm a huge believer in right job, right tech. You know, even things that I generally don't like, if it's the right tool for the job, I'll use it for that situation. So what I want to talk about today is ecosystems. I'm a big believer in the power of ecosystems and actually in the idea that choosing your piece of technology today should mostly be based on the quality of the ecosystem surrounding that technology rather than just on the basis of the strength of the tech itself. Let me give you an example. Uh, there are two game engines out there that are massive and very important in the world of virtual reality, which is where I work. Uh, they are Unity and they are Unreal. And Unity is extremely popular and Unreal is a little bit less popular, but if you look at their capabilities on paper, Unreal kind of is better. Um, it looks better right out of the box. It has outstanding uh, animation tools built right into it and a, an incredible renderer. Um, it has a lot of features that are designed specifically for creative types like in Hollywood, which is where I'm working right now, uh, to be able to get access. And there has, it has a, its own built-in C++-based, non-coding, flow-based uh, programming system. Basically means anybody can use it to code without having to know software. This is crazy. This is all really, really powerful stuff. However, I still almost always recommend that people use Unity. So why would that be? If Unreal is better, why would I suggest people use Unity? Um, the answer is because the ecosystem surrounding Unity is much, much better than the one surrounding Unreal. A lot more people use Unity than use Unreal. And so what this means is that all of the other little things that you need if you're getting started with a piece of tech or even if you're deep into it like me, all these other things come with that larger population of people, that larger ecosystem. Let me give you specifics. So um, the first thing is that if you're using Unity, there's like a 90% chance that whatever your problem is, somebody else out there has already had it. There are so many people using this. Whatever your little specific issue is, it's probably been had, figured out, and documented on something like Stack Overflow. Number two, and this is really the most important thing, is the store. Unity and Unreal both have what's called an asset store, a place where you can go and buy uh, existing assets, 3D models, scripts, sometimes even whole games that just need to be pumped full of your own art assets. And the number and uh, variety of things that are available in Unity far, far out exceeds what's available in Unreal. And this is just because the population of people using Unity is so great. The audience for those kinds of assets is massive, so the creation of those assets is also massive. So this is what I'm talking about when, when I'm talking about an ecosystem. You have sort of like this, uh, this bond that occurs when you have a large population of people using something, all kinds of other things get created to support them. You know, uh, uh, support websites and assets are just two examples. You can make the same kind of analogy to choosing a hardware platform. For example, like are you gonna choose iOS or Android? Well, it depends on what you're trying to do. Um, at this point, those two are pretty close together. But uh, there's a lot of variety in what's available for those kinds of things. There's a vast number of different Android hardware platforms, right? You can get Android installed on a toaster. <laughs> you can get Android that comes inside of a, a, a projector. You can't do that with iOS. This is because the ecosystem surrounding Android is massive. I mean, just enormous when compared to the one that, that drives iOS. So again, in my opinion, when you're choosing a piece of technology, the first thing you should do is you go out and you should look how many people are using this, how much stuff is out there to support me and my decision of choosing to use this piece of tech. Um, and in my mind, that far, far, far outweighs you know, the, the pros and cons of the actual piece of technology itself. So I hope this was helpful for you. Uh, this was a lesson that took me a really long time to, to learn. So uh, please like, share, and follow if you enjoyed this at all. And of course, see you guys next time.